This weekend, August 19th, you have the chance to see a pretty cool event happening in Giddings. Marty Haggard, the son of music legend Merle Haggard, will be doing a tribute to his dad. It's happening at the Silo 77 Event Center. And to tell us more, we are so happy to be joined today by Marty Haggard. Hey, Marty, thank you so much for taking some time and talking to us today. Absolutely my pleasure, Alex. Thanks for asking. Absolutely. So uh, tell us a little bit about this tribute for your father. Well, it's just that. Um, you put it in the proper terminology. This is a tribute to my dad. And um, I know my dad is Merle Haggard to y'all, but he's not to me. He's, he's my dad. And um, my dad made his living in the public um, circle. But if he was a ditch digger, I'd be just as proud. And um, maybe I'd be digging ditches instead of singing too. But I'm just, um, you know, my, I am my dad's oldest son. And um, out of all his kids, I'm the one that, he took on the road with him all those years. He was writing and recording all that music from the time I was eight years old until about 83. And uh, I'm 65 now. And so I've been on the road with my dad or myself since I was eight years old. And but I was there with him when he wrote and recorded almost all those classics. And um, I know the stories behind them. And um, I guess I know more about my dad personally and professionally than anybody alive. And when I do these little tribute shows to him, um, you know, the people that come obviously grew up with him like I did from a different perspective, but they grew up with him just the same. And, um, you know, I tell little stories about certain songs that people know, and, you know, it's just a real intimate inside look on dad that nobody really knows. And, um, but it's just, a, um, it's just a, basically a son bragging about his dad. You're going to be playing some music, obviously, a tribute to your dad. Uh, what can what can folks folks expect when they uh, when they come out to it? You know, they're not going to get every single song dad ever did over his career. That's an impossible thing to do in a day, much less an hour or two. Okay. And uh, you know, dad had more top ten records than anybody in music history. He he had 110 top ten records and 48 number one records and you know, tons of classics that weren't ever even singles. So we only have a, so enough time to do a certain amount of songs. But, you know, I usually let the people determine what I'm going to do. Hmm. I pick the first two or three songs just to get the night rolling, you know, and that from there on out, we probably do mostly a request kind of thing because I don't know what people want to hear, what songs. So, hey, when you don't know, ask. You want to hear all the good times really over for good. I'll do that. for Whatever you want to hear, I'll do it for you. And if there is a story attached to the song that might be of some interest to them, I'm pretty aware of what that song might or might not be. And, um, you know, the this, this stories behind certain songs are really interesting. And um, so it's a real interest. I call it a, um, a sharing. I really don't call it a show. I'm not there to entertain nobody. I'm there to simply share my love for my dad. And I understand that the people out there that grew up with him have a love for him too, from a different perspective, but it's, it's a, it's a uh, trip down memory lane for everybody, me included. Well, Marty, thank you so much. We are all looking forward to, uh, to having that and sharing that night with you. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's been a real pleasure talking to you. You too, Alex, and good luck with the hair. <laughs> Thanks.